The Printax Yard is an old settlement for squatters. It has more than 500 kiosks with at least two occupants in each of them. The occupants are mainly laborers or factory hands, while others are hawkers along the Spintex Road. Their low economic status compelled the caretaker to subsidize the cost of bathing and use of the washrooms during the festive season. Regardless, Akwisi, the washroom attendant, says they are unable to afford. <laughs> When we reduce the price, they were coming, but the numbers are not encouraging. Some still prefer to bath in their rooms. The prices of the kiosks vary from the size. Uh, for a month. Though they are grateful for the interventions by the caretaker, they have more pressing issues. Rent is expensive, so the kiosk is affordable. Yet, we always face threats of eviction. We can't afford to buy foodstuffs. It's frustrating. The factories are not paying us well. Where I used to work, I was being paid 80 CD per week. The caretaker is good. He has reduced the cost of personal grooming for us. But because of the Christmas, why are you 50 pesos more beer? First, no me yet more beer to company me. But I see no more jaya na because a lot of people. I used to work at a pure water factory. I could barely do anything with the money I paid. Some of them blamed the hard economic situation on traders for exploiting the customers. Especially I bought a bottle of oil for 35 cities at the Medina market, but it's being sold at 45 cities here on the Spintex Road. But I will buy a Spintex and say, yeah, we are still selling 45 cities. Why? Some of the children here have never been to school, but parents of those who are in school lamented over the increase in cost. Many of the children are yet to return to school, even though classes have resumed for the new academic year. They are yet to start school. The distance is far. It's of concern to us. The high cost of living currently in the country is indeed no joke for almost everyone. However, for squatters here at the Printex Yard on the Spintex Road, it strikes differently. They can only hope for a better tomorrow. Sarah Apencro, TV3 News, Accra.